Uh, we really felt that it wasn't really necessary for Qatar to have uh, this eighth stadium after the World Cup. So we decided to take a very radical uh, uh, strategy, which was to see if we could actually design a stadium which was not only dismountable, but was also transportable and remountable in another country, either as a full stadium or as uh, different pieces uh, which could be put together as a variable amount of sports buildings. The shipping container is a piece which can be transported legally on boats. Uh, it is modular, it is a standard uh, unit. And so we designed all of the areas in the stadium, uh, such as the toilets, uh, the concessions, the sky boxes, the media areas, to be housed in these shipping containers. And then basically all we did is we had a structure and we placed the shipping containers on this structure wherever they are needed on the different levels. Um, and then we just plug and play, which is you plug them in to the electricity or to any other utilities. Um, and the stadium uh, works in this, uh, I think, very spectacular, unique uh, uh, idea, which is actually the first time I believe this has ever been done in the world. So Qatar has the first ever dismantle and remantle stadium uh, that has been in a world uh, uh, history of football. It is the ultimate legacy uh, achievement, which basically is that the stadium will be dismantled, uh, will be put into the shipping containers and they will be taken on a, on a ship and they can be taken to another country um, and remounted. And what would be fantastic personally is that it, is, uh, it would be in the next World Cup and the stadium would then be in another location across the ocean in another World Cup.